The Rocket Belt was never meant for show business and movies and you know all the things that people have seen. It was the first contract was an army contract to prove that a man could fly stably in the air with no wings, no rotors, nothing but the thrust of an engine. So Bell won the contract. They were a leading company in, in the space race uh, with all this expertise in small peroxide thrusters from the X1, the X2. and So Wendell Moore got the idea that he could take a couple of these small peroxide rockets and produce enough thrust for a man to fly. The Army's looking for something like this. Uh, long story short, Bell got the contract. Just a feasibility study, can a man fly? We don't care for how long, just prove that he can fly. With the uh, small amount of money that was in the contract, they had to make do with whatever they could find. And laying around were lots of these B-29 bomber breathing oxygen bottles. So they being made of stainless steel were okay for peroxide use, so that was what the fuel tanks were. They held about roughly six gallons. It would give you 21 and a half seconds of flight, long enough to prove the concept. So uh, that's how we ended up with 21 seconds of flight. And then they started showing it, you know, to promote Bell Aerosystems. 20 seconds and it was over with and they salute great up and they go away. And I go, oh, 20 seconds, but still, it was very, most exciting thing I'd ever seen. I kept thinking I've got to do that and I actually started buying some fuel tanks and, you know, oxygen tanks from World War II and started sketching things and drawing. I got this big, thick aerospace book that talked about everything you can think of, including catalyst packs, nozzles, on and on. The Bell people stopped flying. I think what happened was the Army decided not the rocket Bell wasn't, was useless because of its time thing. So Bell made the decision at that time, we're going to stop all research down the rocket path and we're going with a jet engine an air-breathing, kerosene-fired jet engine. Peanut oil will work in it. So now Bell is out of it, I'm the only one. And in fact, people would still want the Bell rocket belt, and they'd call Bell and they would send them to me. You know, it's like, no, we don't do it, go see Tyler. <laughs> so that was good. And nobody else did it for almost 20 years until they copied mine. There you have it. <laughs>